Welcome to Beth's Happy Home. Here's another recipe that's going on our Thanksgiving menu. This is the one that my children will say is their favorite part of the entire meal. And the entire meal is a feast, but this is kind of special. And believe it or not, it's the green bean casserole. It uses a few different ingredients that are a little bit unusual, but I think you're really going to like it. Okay, I'm gonna start with a good deep pan. This is called a chicken fryer. I bought it at a discount store um, and I love this pan. I have used it and abused it as you can see. It started out being non-stick, now it's kind of non-stick but not too much. I'm going to start with two tablespoons of olive oil. You can use butter if you prefer but um, I lightened this recipe up just a little bit. Olive oil has about the same calories as butter does but it's a much more healthful oil. Now I'm going to put the um, chopped onions in there. This is one normal sized onion, not too big, not too small. And minced garlic. If you only have garlic powder, that's fine, but this is a little bit fresher tasting. So that's about two tablespoons of that. So from that point, I'm going to um, let this heat up and then simmer it down until the onions start to caramelize. So that's going to be um, just getting brown around the edges and nice and soft. Okay, so I've um, browned these onions and the garlic together and then I added two tablespoons of flour, which we actually missed getting it on the camera. So now I'm going to add a pint of sour cream. You can use regular sour cream, but I like to lighten it up just a little bit and use the light sour cream. See what that is? Now, deglaze your pan. You've got a little bit of caramelization sticking to the bottom of your pan. So use the sour cream to get that picked up. Turn your heat down to low. And you just want to heat that, uh, heat the sour cream and let it pick up that um, brown onion glaze that's on the bottom of your pan. Now, a little bit of salt and pepper, and this is just to taste. So we'll just grind some of that in there. There's a big difference between freshly ground pepper and the kind that comes already ground. And if you haven't ever um, tried the grinding pepper, I suggest that you do it. It's, it's really tasty. Now I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of salt. The green beans were canned with salt and so you don't want to um, add too much, but a half a teaspoon will be about right. This is six, six cans of drained green beans. You have to throw in one bean first. No, you don't have to throw in one bean first. I just did that because I noticed that it had a stem sticking to it. And uh, so that's what you do. All right. Then stir the beans in. And I like to get them kind of warmed up at this stage, get the beans a little bit warmed up. And that way it doesn't take quite as long in the oven. Um, but I make this ahead by a couple of hours before I'm ready to serve it just cover it after it's ready to serve and then um, pop it into the oven right before the meal is is on you know and if you have two ovens that's even better because there's always you're kind of crowding trying to balance the rolls that need to be freshly baked and nice and warm and the green bean casserole and the yam yams and apple casserole so um, once these are warmed up then I will show you how to assemble them in the casserole dish. Okay, these beans are nice and hot in their sour cream mixture. I'm going to take a casserole dish about this size. You can do a flat one if you want to, but I like this size and shape um, for this particular one. 
just an oven proof dish and I spray it so that they don't stick to kingdoms come kingdom kingdom come at this stage you can get really fancy and add some crumpled bacon before you put it in the casserole dish um, just a handful of that will add another dimension to the flavor you just put it on the put it in the dish and then you sprinkle the cheese on top this is four ounces of sharp cheddar cheese but you want a really good strong flavorful cheese in there then you can also add another fancy touch which is some french fried onions and there's even a green bean casserole on the back of the french fried onions but this green bean casserole recipe is better than the one that's on the back of the of the french fried onion and so I just kind of mix them, take a handful of those, mix them in with the cheese a little bit, and then I will cover this and bake it for about 25 minutes on 350 degrees right before it's time to serve, and then it will be nice and hot when the meal is served. That's all there is to it. Happy Thanksgiving.